Hello once again. Thank you again for clicking on my video about the new E71X through AT&T. In this video, I'll be demoing the Safari style web browser and other media capabilities of the E71X. So let's get started with the browser. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, a common shortcut on Symbian phones to access the browser is to just press and hold the zero key, which is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and press and hold that down, and that's going ahead and launch my browser. Now. Uh, it's bringing me right to this page because actually I was already in a current web session. So um, as you can see, it is a very Safari-like web browser. You get the uh, the little uh, cursor in the center there that you can click, point and click on links. A um, couple of quick shortcuts for you is you can uh, press, and, press and hold the center selection key and it will bring up this taskbar that you can do uh, a lot of cool different functionality with. And Go ahead and hide that with the right soft key here. Uh, you can actually use the number 8 key and that will automatically put you in mini map mode here and it will actually basically just zoom out on the page so you can see everything that you're looking at and then you use this little red box to zoom right back in. By the way, this is a cool uh, website that might come in handy for you. It's called e71fanatics.com. They have a lot of cool uh, profiles and application updates that, that you might find handy. So another function is uh, other than using the number 8, you can press and hold the D-pad in any direction and that will automatically give you that mini-map mode there on the side. So you can see the full view as well as a zoomed out view at the same time. And then just go ahead and let go and it will go back to normal again. Uh, if you want to enter a web URL, of course you can do that through the options, but a shortcut would be to hit number 8. and uh, I'm sorry, not number 8, number 9. We did that already. There's number 9, so you can go ahead and hit number 9 and enter a new web URL. And uh, last but not least, the visual page history is usually the, uh, the coolest feature of this browser. So when I hit back, instead of loading up the last page I was on, it will actually give me a visual page history of my entire web session that I've been on. So I'll just go ahead back to, uh, let's say, CNN.com, for example. So now it's loading up here in the top left. And there it is. The page is all loaded up. So there is uh, all the features of the... Uh, of the web browser on the E71X. Uh, there's, there's a few more things you can do with it, but those are some of the key highlights. Uh, now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and take a look at the camera on the E71X. Uh, that is going to be a 3.2 megapixel camera with flash, autofocus, and video recording capabilities. So uh, the phone comes with the uh, right soft key entered as the shortcut to the camera. Of course, you can change that and put it anywhere you want. So let's just go ahead and use that for now. That'll go ahead and open up my camera. Now, one thing you're going to want to know um, is how to autofocus. So let me go ahead and I have some artistic objects in the background here. Those are actually a pair of bananas. So what you're going to want to do is use the center selection key. I'm actually on video mode right now, so let me go ahead and get out of video mode. You just use the right soft key here, and that'll bring up this menu. Um, and the top button right there will switch you back and forth between video and uh, picture. So you can see I have a little um, little grid there of what I'm focused on. Now what you're going to want to do, uh, it'll, it'll be white when you first bring it up. You're going to want to use the number 2 right there. Press and hold that down for a moment. You can see it just turned green. And that, that's indicating that it's now auto-focused. So I can hit the center selection key and it'll snap my picture for it. Now if you don't autofocus, you might not notice it at first until you start loading up your pictures on your computer or up uploading them to a uh, sharing site. It might appear uh, not as clear as you originally thought. So definitely make sure to get in the habit of using that autofocus. That's the number two key. And then along with that, you can just hit the right soft key here and it'll bring up a whole list of, of uh, features that you can do. You can adjust the flash mode, scenes, um, self-timer, uh, uh, sequence mode, all, all kinds of stuff there that you can adjust, the white balance. So it's a, a really a full-featured camera. Um, and if you, if you know how to work that, you can, you can really take some nice pictures. So now that we've seen the uh, <coughs> web browser, the camera, let's go ahead and take a look at the music player. You can see I have an icon for that right here in the vertical icon mode. So it's showing me I have a song currently playing. Let me go ahead and open that up. Oh, I must have hit the wrong key there. Okay, there we go. So, I'll just go ahead and hit the center key. 
turn the volume down. The speaker is right there up on the top of the phone. Uh, one of the things you can do is hit options, go to show visu visualization, and it'll pull the album art full screen for you. It'll continue playing in the background if you want to go back to the web browser or do anything else, multitasking on the phone, so I can listen to music simultaneously. One of the other cool things that people like about the uh, music player with the uh, Nokia devices is that if I'm connected to any Bluetooth headset, not just a stereo Bluetooth headset, uh, even just a mono headset, it'll con actually play my music through through that Bluetooth headset as well. Uh, so nice nice capability there. Um, now what I can do here when I'm searching through my phone menu, or I'm sorry, my music menu, is if I want to find a specific song, I could just start typing in uh, a few letters here, and again, it'll it'll narrow it down to the to the song I'm looking for. So all in all, pretty cool music player on the E71X. So I'm going to go ahead and you can either pause or stop. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Now that we've seen the music player, um, that's that's actually uh, what I wanted to show. So. Thanks again for watching my, uh, my, my last video here, and be sure to check out my other videos on the E71X. Don't forget to leave your, your comments in the section below, and stay tuned for more.